a group of javelinas injured on an Oro Valley woman, oh, excuse me, injured an Oro Valley woman and killed one of her dogs. Yeah, that's right. And now Arizona Game and Fish is reminding people how to stay safe if you see a javelina. Nine on your side's Ryan Fish tells us what we need to know. A woman walking her two dogs at El Conquistador Golf Course on Sunday night was charged by a group of four to six javelina. One dog was killed outright, another injured. She was injured in all probability intervening. Arizona Game and Fish is still investigating what happened, but it's a threat to Sonins have to be aware of. Javelina and human being conflicts are rare, but when there's a dog involved, that's where it gets risky. The department says that's the second leading cause of javelina bites in humans behind feeding them. The puncture wounds from their canine teeth can cause a pretty severe injury. If you're out walking your dog and see javelina, immediately turn around and go the other way. It's not gonna end well if you keep going forward. That's because javelina naturally get defensive around dogs. Javelina don't see very well, but they smell very well, and they think your dog is a coyote, which is a natural foe. Like other desert wildlife, javelina like to move around using these washes, especially around sunrise and sunset. If you encounter one up close, loud noises can help. Even something as simple as clapping your hands loudly can disturb javelina enough that they'll move off. And if you plan on decorating for Halloween this year, Arizona Game and Fish says avoid real pumpkins. They can attract javelina right to your front porch. In Oro Valley, Ryan Fish, KGA 9 on your side.